Hello friends, today are going, we are going to discuss about the most important topics of obstetrics this year for upcoming NEET and INICT examination and obstetrics is the subject in which you can expect minimum 15 to 25 questions out of 200 questions either in NEET or INICET. So it is, if you look at this is minimum about 16% 60% is directly from obstetrics and remaining 40% is from gynecology. So you have to read this obstetrics very very hardly because this is the subject in which no any other extra sub extra like pathology, pharmacology, microbiology concept is needed. It is purely obstetrics topics and if you read you can score many of 90% of this obstetric papers so firstly we go on through the introduction topic and it is seen this is a probable sign is the most important topic for this year whatever probable sign is present that is the six that is either Hager sign Godel sign Oziander sign Pisa six sign Chadwick sign and Palmer sign this is very very important and my simple mnemonic is Hager's is high H for Hager and I for isthmus that is the softening of isthmus and you can in your exam if the question is based on image based question so you can see the uh, doctor is holding the uterus by your two hands so in exam by this you can also diagnose the Hager sign and next is the Goodell sign and both is the at the six week period okay Goodell sign is the cervix okay and this is the softening of cervix next i will uh, talk about bc and pc c for chadwick and b for bluish discoloration <coughs> bluish discoloration of the vag uh, vagina and vulva next is the palmer sign pc c for contraction uterine contraction okay and you can also know this this is the braxton hick contraction okay next is the pisa sec i have talked this is the peak pisa sec like a tower in which the tower is divided to one side and this is like uterus and due to unequal growth this pisa sec sign is the unequal growth of the uterus of one side and remain is the oziander sign this is due to uterine artery lateral vaginal phonics pulsation okay so this is the probable sign this is very very important for this exam so please read it for your exam next is the down syndrome screening this is also very very important topic the nuchal translucency nuchal translucency is the fluid collection behind the neck okay and nuchal translucency is done at 11 to 13 plus 6 week okay and you have to remember nuchal uh, translucency is not diagnostic for uh, down syndrome it is screening test and if this screening test comes positive then you can go to the non-invasive prenatal testing or directly this the confirmatory testing either coronic villi sampling or amniocentesis and nuchal translation she do you have to remember about this uh, it is a if it is found at more than three millimeter it is talked as positive nuchal translucency okay next is the dual test dual test is the beta hcg and papa both is increasing sorry beta hcg is increasing papa is decreasing okay next is the triple test and here the you have to remember you have to remember that is triple test is uh, on three uh, it, is, uh, it is on three that is the beta hcg and afp and unconjugated estradiol 3 okay you have to remember this also ue3 e3 that is the estriol you have to know it unconjugate estriol this is also in your exam about the rule out option there would be ue2 so you have to rule out it is as you know next is the quadruple test quadruple test this all three will there but there is an exclusion inclusion of inhibin a 
I and and I tell you that there is a high and this high that is the beta ACG and inhibin A both is increasing and remaining AFP decrease unconjugated estradiol 3 also decrease next you have to know if this screen test is come positive then you can go for non-invasive prenatal testing which is also known as cell free fetal DNA testing cell free fetal DNA testing okay next if it is come positive then it is also not a confirmatory if it is come positive then we can go for coronavirus sampling and amniocentesis and this is at the first trimester and done at more than 10 week and this is done at amniocentesis done at more than equal to 15 week okay and in case of coronic villi sampling there is it is a fetal loss is equal to in case of coronic villi sampling fetal loss is about one percent here it is 0.5 percent okay so please remember this topic down syndrome screening is very very important topic for this upcoming NEET exam next is one of the important topic is the uhg changes of pregnancy you have to remember the images when it is most come as a spotter for your exam that is what is intra decidual sign what is double decidual sign what is double blade sign and what about mean sac diameter what about crown rump length just you have to remember what is an intra decidual sign that is there is a yolk sac yolk sac and fetal pole fetal pole next you have to remember this image also it is very really important double decidual sac sign and double blade sign and double blade sign you can see this is the blade like ball like appearance so this is the yolk sac and this is the amniotic sac okay and what about the mean sac diameter just you have to remember the diameter should be 21 millimeter to look for the uh, mean sac diameter and crown length to look for viability to look viability okay so criteria it, if it is mean sac diameter is more than 21 millimeter there should be the yolk sac and embryo if me, uh, me, mean sac diameter is more than equal to 21 millimeter with no yolk sac and or embryo then it is called as non-viable pregnancy okay and if about crown run then it is also criteria is seven so they go it is like triple so you are just remember by this and uh, it is also to look for viability and if the crown run length is more than equal to seven millimeter but if no cardiac activity present then it is also a non-viable pregnancy okay next about the you have to remember about the topic like amniotic fluid index and dbb on e and you have to know it is the 5 to 24 is the normal and here is the 2 to 8 is normal and if it is less than 5 then obviously this is the all i go and more than 24 is the poly same about less than 2 is the all i go more than 8 is equal to poly and you have just uh, read about the what are the and a crown genital anomalies associated with oligohydromnios and polyhydromnios and i have already talked it that oligohydromnios is associated with potter sequence this is a previous and initiate questions potter sequence which is about the oligohydromnios like flat fish pulmonary hypoplasia hypoplasia and obviously you have to also know about the polyhydromnios which is about the double blade sign double bubble sign in case of duodenal atresia okay so just read this topic about the I mean, what are the growth congenital anomalies and uh, obviously you know that in case of polyhydromnios there can be twin twin transfusion syndrome and the most important topic uh, this year i guess is the postpartum hemorrhage i guess this year you can expect minimum of one question or maybe two question directly from this topic in either neat or any set okay and this is the very important that is the various placental pictures 
like placenta succentriata, succentriata in which a large of placenta and some portion is left and this is the small portion this is the placenta succentriata and if there is a placenta is attached at the side that is like a door so battle door placenta okay it can be the placenta there should be a membrane and the placental vessel is attached here so this is called as velamentous placenta that is the vasa previa and you know if there is any rupture of the membrane it can cause the blood loss and this blood loss is from the fetal blood loss and if fetal blood loss this can be a obstetric emergency and i think you know how to differentiate between fetal blood fetal blood and maternal blood that is by alkali denaturation testing alkali denaturation testing in which 1% sodium hydroxide is applied and very surprisingly fetal blood resist fetal blood resist the color wash maternal color washed okay so just remember this and uh, there all if you have time also you can read about the sarcom valet sarcom valet comma sarcom marginate placentas so just look up the uh, photos of these uh, placentas next is very important there is the prophylaxis and treatment of postpartum hemorrhage it is very very important for this exam and i just talked about, about that if you about postpartum hemorrhage just remember the prophylaxis like firstly oxytocin 10 international unit should be given either im or slow iv infusion next oxytocin ka next generation that is the carbetocin carbetocin this is the 100 microgram should be given iv over one minute okay oxytocin carbetocin and next you have to remember about the methargin methargin four is the syntometrin syntometrin in which five international unit of oxytocin plus 0 0.5 milligram of methargin and this is the 0 0.2 milligram of methargin that is an im okay and for we have to remember about that you can give tranexa tranexa and ultimately the mesoprostol tablets 600 microgram okay so just remember this this is this profile axis this single table is very very important for this exam and it can be given to one gram IV over 20 minute okay so I guess this is very, very important for this exam and also mesoprostol but very very important that carboprost not in prophylaxis okay it is very, very important that carboprost is not in prophylaxis and if you talk about the treatment so it is same like firstly oxytocin but change is that it is not 10 it is 20 international unit im or slow iv in 500 ml ns okay not control then you can go for here you can add carboprost but very very important carboprost is contraindicated in asthma okay carboprost and also you can add or methargy okay and the new inclusion is that tranexamic acid tranexamic acid thousand gram three thousand microgram microgram over 20 minute within three hour okay caraprost you can and give also you can give the mesoprostol mesoprostol 800 or 1000 
microgram if the bleeding is not controlled then you can go for balloon tamponade balloon tamponade if it is after this if bleeding not controlled do you have to look for either patient is hemodynamically stable or hemodynamically unstable if the patient is hemodynamically stable you can go for firstly uh, uterine artery embolization and if it is not present in your OT theater you can go for simply B Lynch suturing and this is one of your exam spot of and if the patient is hemodynamically unstable matlab bahut kharaab condition then you can go for directly bilateral uterine artery ligation okay and then after that if the bleeding decrease then you can go for bilinge but if the bleeding continues bleed continues then you can go for hysterectomy and this is the supra cervical hysterectomy you should have to done and this is the topic i have want to discuss with you this is the very important topic for this exam so just you have to remember it next is the very important topic about this year is the preeclampsia so please go through the various definitions of preeclampsia like what is the criteria of bp and when uh, when you have to go for the anti hypertension medication in where where you have to go for uh, oral labitolol in which cases you have to go for the iv labitolol so please remember this topic and what about the protein criteria what is about the that is about the more than 20 week of gestation you have to just remember okay this is very really important and next thing about that impending eclampsia please go through the criteria what about the impending eclampsia this is also very really important what about the severe preeclampsia what about this criteria i think you all go through these topics so you can revise your notes if you have any doubts please let me know in your in my comment section and this is one of the most important that is the absent endiastolic flow and reversal of endiastolic flow just remember very simply that simple graph that is this is the systolic blood pressure this is the diastolic normally if it is the baseline it should not diastolic blood pressure should not touch the baseline and it will come out this is normal but if it is come this is the absent end diastolic flow but if it is come and go beyond the baseline and then come this is the reversal of end diastolic flow okay so this is very very important and you have to know reversal end diastolic flow is uh, not very good so you have to terminate the pregnancy a termination of pregnancy should be done okay okay and next you have to know about the magnesium sulfate dose and properties this is also very very important what about its toxicity level and what about the normal uh, plasma level should be 4 to 7 what about the more than 10 what about more than 12 what about more than 15 what about patellar reflex what about respiratory reflex respiratory changes you have to know everything and what is the dosing like what is the im dosing what is the iv dosing what is the loading and you have to know this is also very important and just you have to, uh, just for your check of information this regimen is known as p chart regimen p chart Featured regimen that is the for the magnesium sulfate. Okay, so just remember this topic. Next is the diabetes mellitus. This is also I have uh, highlighted is a star because this is very very important. Shoulder dystocia and various anomaly like you have to know this is the what are the specific and like sacral agenesis. What about the most common anomaly in diabetic mother that is the cardiovascular anomaly, then neural tube defect. But agar most specific if it is most specific to diabetes mellitus then you can go for sacral agenesis as simple as that sacral agenesis okay but if it is most common then you can go for cardiovascular anomaly okay and in case of cardiovascular anomaly the most common is the vsd but most specific is the tga okay so just go through this this is also very one line of short questions very very important important and you have to know also about the uh, shoulder dystocia and you have just you have to know what is the management protocol for uh, shoulder dystocia that is the simple mnemonic helper so firstly h for obviously call for help call for help and second e for obviously episiotomy t for uh, uh, obviously this is the 
sorry sorry l l4 is the leg maneuver and leg maneuver like firstly uh, this is the mac robertson maneuver and here you have to go for sudden flexion and abduction of the maternal thigh on the abdomen okay next is the supra pubic pressure next is the enter maneuver r is the removal of posterior arm and lastly about the roll over phenomena roll over okay so please go through this topic and it is very very important for your exam next is management protocol of ectopic so what is about an if you have time you can go through the whole ectopic it is also important topic but the most important is the management protocol in which you have to go for conservative in which of go to for surgical which surgery everything okay and uh, you have to uh, and if you know the previous year in case of previous year there is a question on i think ectopic uh, topic there is, a, there is already a question have come and you if you have time also you please read about the salpin jectomy and what about the salping gostomy okay so please read this topic and also a very very important topic for this exam there is the various abortion definition like complete abortion incomplete abortion inevitable abortion threatened abortion so please go through and this is uh, maybe match match the following question may come from this topic this is also very important in which cases there is a uh, uh, dilation of the cervix in which cases there is uh, close the os cervical os so please go through and obviously cervical cyclas is also a very important topic for this year okay next is the antepartum hemorrhage so obviously antepartum hemorrhage if you have to go for this topic so it is you know this is the placenta previa and abruption is the most important for this year and uh, you have to know about the what how it is differentiated from placenta previa and how it is abruption the clinical presentation of the patient in which there is a more pain in which there is a in which there is a more bleeding in which there is a uh, fresh blood in which there is a down a change of the color of the blood please go through this is very important obviously the treatment protocol but i am more interested on this topic like adherent placenta this year this is the very very important topic for this because adherent placenta how will you diagnose especially you have to know this is by usg and uh, to look for the blood flow you can add with doppler and you have know that is the placenta accreta okay this is the very very important topic for this and obviously next is topic next topic is the uh, next topic is the uh, twin pregnancy twin pregnancy you have to know about the various image this is this may mostly come as a spotter and like this is the fetus and if this is the fetus and if you have any found in a membrane so you have to know membrane like amnion if there is a membrane plus then it is a di amniotic then look for chorionicity you have to look for this thickness if it is thick then di chorionic if it is thin it is the mono chorionic okay so please know how it is dcda how it is mcda and how it is mcma and just this potter this is very very important for this exam and also twin twin transfusion syndrome okay so like one baby is oligohydromnios one baby is polyhydromnios so just read this topic next is the very important topic like uh, i have talked it at the heart disease in pregnancy and my guess this question might come in your exam that is the what is the physiological and pathological differentiation between the in case of heart disease or pregnancy so please this is already a one question previous year from this topic already in need 2021 pg so this year i guess this topic of question can come this is also very very important topic next is uh, the gravida and parallel in case of labor topic you have to know about the gravida and parity formula like gt pal okay so in case of gravida that is the number of pregnancy of the uterus and obviously t for term pregnancy and p for preterm a for abortion l for living issue so this type of short scoring question can can come and uh, just go through this obviously partograph topic is very very important it is also can come in an exam and i want to highlight that is the maternal pelvis and fetal skull 
this will come in your exam and if i have time i will discuss about the maternal pelvis and fetal skull thoroughly in my next uh, videos in upcoming days so it is i think very very important okay next is the cardinal movement it is very very simple and like how it is extension then descent then flexion and this is the on a probability of current question come and this is a very single one liner questions so please if you have time the minimum the sequence you have to know how it is following okay next i guess this year most probably forceps and vacuum delivery questions will come and this is i think the most important topic in whole obstetrics topics because in up last two year i have not few any question but this is very very high yielding questions in your exam and obviously if you have time you can go through the fetal monitoring that is the by bbb physio profile okay and ultimately i have to talk about that uh, the very important topic that is the molar pregnancy in, uh, i think in the last day uh, during the imedicos quiz preparation i have shown a question on the partial mole and complete mole partial mole and complete mole and the the picture was of complete mole and the fit and they have asked what is the mane either it is 46 xx 46 xy and 69 xxx and 69 xxy so please not go, go no that com in case of complete mole it is 46 xx in case of partial mole because it is 90% okay 10% case mein 46 xy it can be it is 69 xxx 69 xxy okay this is in 90% cases and you have to know that is in partial complete mole there is a ovum that is a blighted ovum and then sperm comes so it is complete paternal and here there is a ovum and two sperm and it is partial paternal so it is the very very important topic uh, please go through this topic uh, for molar pregnancy uh, fully okay so thank you friends for watching this video if you like this video please share the video and to your friends